Hello everyone, welcome back to Jumping Event Part 2. This is gonna be the guide for Part 2, and yeah, let's get right into it. And of course, if you did the quests in the last part, you should have already been done with the Xuanumon, and you already got yourself the bracelet. Next, we're gonna be moving on to the ring from these pouches, and uh, yeah. Now, the first thing you did is you would get a sub quest from Antilamon that will give you the Shining Bade Zukiao and the piece of power you can get from a daily quest. Ask you to defeat. 30 Virgamon in Western Village. Yeah, here they are. Here's, here's uh, their location. You have to defeat 30 of them. So you have to do this daily quest for two days so you can craft the fancy bead pouch. And you have to craft it. And something I got wrong last time is that you actually have to open the packages. And yeah, you have to open the packages, the items you get from the package. It will give you the fancy bed, which we need for the next package. And it will also give you the condensed power of Zukiaomon, which will give you the ring of Zukiaomon. This is the ring, and this is that stats you can get, or this is basically the stats of the ring. It's not randomized, it is fixed stats, and these are the stats. And when you have the fancy bed Zukiao in your inventory, you will unlock the next daily quest to obtain the two pieces of power. And this time, it will ask you to defeat 30 Saber Jamon in Western Village West, and this is their location. And once again, you have to do this daily quest for two days, and with that, you will be able to craft the Radiant Bed Power Zukiao. And this is the item that you can get from that box. It will give you the Dats Asian set. And yeah, it is similar to the new set that you received earlier from Yokohama Village. But it's actually much better as you can see. It gives you better stats. And it will also give you the Radiant Bed Zukiao. Which you need for the third and final Zukiao Mon package. And it will unlock the daily quest to obtain Piece of Strong Power Zukiao. And the daily quest will ask you to, do, to actually complete stage... 10 of Colosseum hero or normal mode now obviously you won't be able to do no, to do hero mode but normal mode it actually should not be too hard I'm actually gonna show you and once you are in on your left it's gonna be hero mode ignore that don't get near hero mode right now but from normal mode you can go ahead and start it's preferable to do it with a party but I think until stage 10 it should be no problem yeah you just kill them easily until stage 10 and to stage 10, I have actually switched it back from Fangomon to the champion level, not even the mega. So, so far it was not a problem. And stage 10 is Tanimon, level 90 Tanimon. Now, of course, I have seals on my account. So, hopefully, even for new tamers, it should not be a problem. And that is stage 10. You can now click no wait and leave. Now, if you are struggling, you can do it with a party, but you have to wait for three days. And after that, you'll obtain the refined beat pouch. Zukiao, which will give you these items and using the refined B Zukiao, another quest will show up from Antilamon that will ask you to talk to him again and it will give you Biohumon's advent and this will give you the Biohumon's egg, level 5 egg, and addition of data and sapphire to level him up. And with that you should get a next uh, sub quest that will give you the shining bead Baihu that will be the start for the necklace. First off, the piece of power Baihumon is from the daily quest. You have to do it for two days and it will ask you to defeat 30 Silver Leumon in Silver Lake. And after doing this for two days, you should be able to craft the fancy bead pouch Baihu, which will give you the fancy bed which you will need for the necklace package and the condensed power of King Long, which will give you the King Longmon earring. And this is the stats of the earring. After that, you are ready to start working towards crafting the second package or pouch, the next daily quest, which will ask you to defeat 30 Kaiser Leumon in Lost Historic Village. And as always, you do the daily quest for two days and then you will be able to craft the second pouch, which will give you the radiant bed, which we need for the, the third pouch. And it will give you a growth fruit item, two of them. Now the growth fruit is an item that will immediately change your Digimon size to 125% regardless of its hatch size. So it's pretty good. And after that we can move on to the third pouch. Of course you now have the Radiant Bed. But the piece of strong power is to get from a daily quest. And the daily quest will ask you to collect an item called Death Full of Baihu. And you get this item from the Shadow Labyrinth Dungeon. Alright, so quick guide for the Shadow Labyrinth Dungeon. It's from the D Terminal. You see the NPC, it will give you two passes per day and you can enter the Shadow Labyrinth Dungeon. There's also harder mode, but well, I think the item is from normal mode. So you go ahead and enter that. Now for how Shadow Labyrinths work is you have three rooms and a fourth secret room. Now I will say the mobs change every single day of the week so if you enter and you find different mobs from mine don't panic that's just how the dungeon work and how it works is that you have to clear all the mobs and bosses in the in each room to make sure the next ones 
spawn so for now you just go ahead and defeat every single enemy in this room okay that is not good and after the finishing all the mobs in the room it will spawn the last bosses which are the bosses of the room you have to defeat them to make sure the mobs in the next room spawn and next you have to move to the next and then you talk to the npc and you move to the next area and you do the same thing you defeat all the mobs in the second room to make sure the boss of the second room spawn and similar to the last room when you defeat all the mobs it will spawn the last bosses of the second room and once again once you defeat them the boss or the final boss in the third room will spawn you just gotta go to it and yeah this is the third room which is technically the final boss there is a fourth room however the fourth room is rng sometimes it spawns sometimes it does not but yeah once you do that you should get the fur of buy who item and with that you can go back and report the quest and yeah you have to do it for three days and you will be able to craft the last refined bed pouch by who which will give you these items the refined bed and the mega clone set box and with the refined bed you can get another quest another sub quest from until that that will give you king lomon's advent which will give you a level 5 king lomon and with that you will now have obtained all five holy beast next we'll be covering the earring next week in addition of the last quest to get fang lomon Shane. So yeah, subscribe if you don't want to miss that. With that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.